is like I see Miriam Haskell pride of place on my beautiful uh, Chinese butterfly woven shawl um, I'm a weaver uh, like loom weaver and when people travel well especially me when family members travel they tend to bring me back beautiful hand woven things and this is a jacquard woven um, shawl from China with a butterfly design here's a modern necklace uh, lobster claw clasp no identifying marks and the little dangles are of stars with rhinestones in them sorry I'm still flabbergasted by the Miriam Haskell Wow but I'm gonna put I see if I can clean it up that goes in the maybe the kids jewelry Here's a few little beads that belong in one of those bags of beads. I'm going to stick them off in the jar. And then here is an interesting necklace. This has got a um, hook, of, like a fish hook, a, a, a clasp. And these are not glass. They're very nice acrylic, though this feels like ceramic. That feels like ceramic. And look at this cool bead. And there's two of them. They're ceramic. You can tell for sure. So this is it's got weight to keep it um hanging down, but it's not a heavy necklace to wear. So if we were to measure it, looks like um 24 inches really pretty greens in there and these ceramic beads that are kind of like overlapping scales are really very attractive could you if could you imagine I was going to say if they were in a stone necklace or with glass beads they'd be even more spectacular but you wouldn't want it be to be too heavy so I really like the design there very nice Oh, alrighty. Well, time to pour a little bit more out. Hope there's not too many random beads. Okay, this thing that I thought was a uh, napkin holder. It's a napkin holder. There you go. I'll have to put see if a. Uh, Probably could do something with this. I don't know. But definitely not, not jewelry. <laughs> not jewelry. One napkin holder. Here, a pair of earrings. Those are funky. I, re I think those are really cool. They're e kind of easily bent. But, um, yeah. Can you imagine wearing those from the side? Those are really neat. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those. I might save these little pieces for, for something. So that's two full pairs of earrings so far. Ooh. Ooh. Sparkly, sparkly. Missing some rhinestones. One, two, three. I love it, the fact that I can read. Uh, or I can see how many rhinestones are missing through my camera. Um, so... Uh, this is this would be a great ring to uh, for someone to play with it. It was well loved the finish is worn off Down to the copper, but however, this can actually be painted and sealed and uh, the rhinestones put uh, replace the few that are missing and uh, Become a, a new ring for someone. I don't know what size it is. It's kind of small it so I need a seven and a half for this finger here so I'm not sure what this one would be. Um, put it off. This is goes in the repair pile. Oh, it's a butterfly. I was going to say maybe this is a, you know, those uh, St. Patrick's Day things, a um, shamrock. But it's not. Oh, and it's got a tag on it. So this says uh, Principesca. Twelve dollars. Heko on probably says on Chine on China. 
probably made in China. It's um, purse dangle. Nice little clasp there. All acrylic beads with this uh, little um, butterfly at the end. So that's quite pretty. I'll have to look up and see if that's uh, any special maker. I guess you could also probably put uh, keys on that ring, though it would they would get all tangled up, baby. So interesting pieces, and it's got the tag, so new with tag or slightly bruised with tag. So here's um, this short little necklace that I found. We're looking at 14 inches plus 2 inch extender. So very slim necklace and missing the uh, whatever uh, chain was attached to here. It was probably a double chain. So um, since it's in very good shape and it's a pretty little chain, I'll if I don't find the missing pieces, I'll take these little parts off and it can be repurposed uh, in another necklace. Another thing I found is this interesting little uh, plastic necklace. And I, it's interesting because, where is it? Okay, this is its connector. Like there's a, a bead that goes in the tube and a bead in the other tube and, and they don't pull out. And I'm pretty strong, so it's a very unattractive clasp. So these are molded in place. They're very sparkly, light plastic beads. Um, so I guess very um, uh, suitable, sort of an overhead the neck, over the head necklace for a child to play with. So that's three things in the um, the kids jewelry. The Next thing is uh, someone, oh, these must be from Ardeen. This is Ardeen.com. So there's two pair of faux pearl earrings in excellent condition. So those can be donated to the uh, gratis um, jewelry shop that goes to long-term care homes and uh, provides shopping experiences for people living in long-term care. Um, yeah, two nice, very nice pair of earrings and earrings. This isn't really jewelry, but, uh, you know, people who are not a jewelry aficionados like us probably saw that it was a nice flattened chain and, uh, said, oh, it's a big long necklace. That what it is, is it's an eyeglass holder or, uh, anything that you need to clip onto a couple chains in excellent shape. Um, good and long, so I would say 44 inches, since it's each, each section's 11 inches long. So probably save that for um, clasping uh, my my mask or something like that. Here's another, I guess, kid-made bracelet with a one wooden bead and the same stretchy cord. A random bead to go in the bead bin. Now these are these are acrylic. They have that um, mottled look, sort of a, a, a cut stone type of look. And there is a tag. And with my new camera, if it's got letters on it, ah, is this the way it goes? No. And why? So here's a New York or an NY necklace. It's a little tangled. Let me get rid of the ruler. It's a double strand. And I'm going to undo it so that I can detangle it a little bit better, a little bit quicker. Oh, it's not two strand. It's Heaven behold, it's three strands. Heaven behold, where did I get that? Okay, so here we are. 
three strands with the largest um, acrylic pieces at the bottom. Uh, it's a very attractive sort of neutral color. These are clear. These are gold tone. These are the beigey, shiny, and uh, in excellent shape. Very wearable. Um, let's have to untangle this little part of the clasp. It has an extender, so let's see. How long would it be? About 22, 20, 22 inches, three inch, ex uh, three inch extender here. So very wearable piece. And um, I'm pretty sure that this, I'll donate this to the, uh, the gratis jewelry shop. Very wearable and, and easily cleaned and all those nice things. So, but this Mary Haskell, still my best piece so far. And I'm keeping that one. So, oh, and, and I managed to match up some earrings in untangling. These are a beautiful color. Oh, wait, they don't match. Or maybe they do and my fingers are just in the road. They kind of don't match. Oh, well, let's hope that we find better matches in the jar. <laughs> I didn't notice that. That's funny. Here's a pair of hoop earrings in good shape. Um, I wonder if they're attracted to a magnet. If my magnet can hold them up. Oh, yeah. How about this part? See this part, the the outside part looked Oh, how come I can't, there we go, that's focused. Possibly tarnished, but this part isn't, so it wouldn't, I don't think that uh, these would be silver if the ear wires weren't silver. But there's a pair of earrings. I found the match for this one. So there's this great sparkler set of uh, pierced earrings. One's got a clutch and one doesn't, but that's easily rectified. Look at those. New Year's Eve sparklers. And this is a pair of earrings, but it's obvious that... Um, sections are have fallen off um, and I can see now why they come off this end so maybe they're just uh, maybe they can be rematched uh, so that there's a better balance right now I've got two pieces on here and several pieces some with just rings missing um, whatever goes with them so one two three four dangles Two dangles, so maybe the uh, extra dangles will uh, show up, but that's meant to be a pair of earrings. And then there's some other pieces that aren't. So, let's see what we've got. Oh, you know what? Another one of these. I won't dump anything more out. So, a third. This one doesn't stretch. Oh, cool. So, this one doesn't stretch like the others do. See, the others are have that um, stretchy cord in them. This one doesn't. Um, it's in a little better shape than the others. It hasn't been worn anyway near near as much. Um, let's see, are the rhinestones all there? Looking good for the rhinestones. So a lot of bling in this jar three of those now and let's see what else we're getting to the bottom there's some chunkier bracelets and things yeah what the heck 
I just dump it all out. So there's the uh, empty jar. What have we got here? Ooh, this is a big piece. <laughs> My magnet's now stuck to everything. Okay, we'll just breath. Look at this. It's a. I didn't know what to make of this, and it's a a, a disc holding chain and uh, two strands of pearls, a small and large strand of pearls, and it is a necklace. Here's the lobster clasp. Here's a little disc, probably telling us who made this. Okay, let's. Get, I have to get used to how to do this properly without blinding everybody. M O Moxie? What do you want to bet that says Moxie? I'm not sure if there's any other better way to. Uh, I know there's a way to zoom in. I just haven't figured out what it is yet. Oh, there it is. Let's go in twice. This, M. Oh, no, M, C, and then two little X's. So that's a new one for me. This is quite substantial. Let's zoom out back to where we were. This is heavy, but it, and it's definitely a choker. Um, there's a, uh, an extender. So there's your three inch extender. And then this, the tightest part, that metal chain. Goes to eight inches. So that's 16 inches. That's a, that's a close to the throat piece. I won't be wearing that and it's heavy. It's really heavy, like you gotta have good shoulders to carry a necklace like that, or it gets tiring. So, but hey, it's in great shape and really shiny. Here's the piece I saw, the butterfly. And it's very pretty. And it, oh, it's the same thing on both sides. And there's nothing just needs a, a bail and you can hang it from a chain or it's very pretty. It's hard to tell what it's made out of. It's like, I think it's resin on top of a, a printed center. So maybe paper in the center, but how nice. That's very pretty. Never seen anything quite like that. And I love butterflies, love butterflies. Here's a bead that goes, matches a bunch of the beads that we found. Here's, oh, here's one of these um, uh, things that go on the back of earrings. I wonder if these go together with these. Like this. Would that be, because there's, that's about the right level of bling to go with each of those. You know, giant pearls in the back bling on the front or the other way around who knows I this is the second time I found a pair of these um, and not been entirely sure how they're meant to go together but those look to me like they belong together so guess what I've made two pairs of earrings today there um there's a ton of broken beads there's a bunch of these rings that go with that pair of earrings that's uh, missing some dangles. So I'll have to look around in the uh, um, other beads and stuff. Maybe there's more dangles. There's um, a piece of leather with some wooden beads on it. So this little crafty necklace that can go with the kids stuff. This is a heavy watch. It's a quartz watch and there's a piece floating around in there that looks like, I don't know. It 
it looks like numbers. Look at this. There's an eight, two, four, six. Oh, maybe they're supposed to go on top of the black letters. Maybe they came unglued. Let's see if we can get the others to move around a little bit to see what they are. Oh, gee, she gets them. I guess there's a, a, a six. Yeah, I guess the little gold bits have fallen off. So you'd have to take the take it apart and glue them back on and there's something funky right here in on the glass. It's a quartz, so it would need a battery. Interesting. I don't know if it says anything on the back. Oh, there's lots of writing on the back. Japan parts, Singapore assembly, stainless steel back, China battery, SR626SW, that's pretty common. Oh, so nice looking watch if it, if it didn't have these little floaters in there. Interesting. Well, they may be that, maybe that's something worth repairing. Or at least getting the pieces out so that it doesn't look so distracting. There it goes with that neck, that ring that I have to repair. Here's a little bracelet. What does it say? Courage. And it's got a awareness heart and a piece. A dove, a dove of peace. That's a pretty little thing. It's in good shape. Um, lobster claw clasp. I don't see any name on it anywhere. Let's see if the courage thing has something on the back. No. But. Uh, hmm. I guess once you're wearing it, these other ones would go in the background and let the, the symbols stand out better. There, sort of. There. Nice. It's a very small. Well, okay, it would fit my, I'd take a standard 7-inch bracelet, but it doesn't leave much. But it's very clean. I, don't, I, I wouldn't hesitate to pass this on to someone else because it uh, looks like it's never been worn. And then there's this. This is a teeny, this isn't, this is a teeny tiny bracelet. This is meant for a, a much smaller wrist, I'm sure. Like something like that. But look at, isn't that pretty with the uh, faux pearls and the, the, the aqua sort of, and then the, uh, the gold tone? That's really pretty. I could see a young child wearing that. And it's, you know, it's soft but flexible. Like it's not sharp in any way and it's very lightweight so those might be plastic beads um, on memory wire okay then there's this oh this is the thing I saw I kind of pointed out it looks like a bunch of um, two beads and that's what they are and this is on a like a plastic rubbery type cord and it's got a ring to hold it together down here big big lobster claw clasp and no markings for a maker if it was your style I think it would uh, look quite nice not sure if you would uh, repurpose these in any way, but the, it's got good. It's got good color. It's not all scratched up and so on. So it certainly can be regifted, repurposed to somebody who would like to wear it. And then here's another bracelet. This was right in the bottom. Stretchy bracelet. Good stretch. I think it's kind of small for me. Does it have any? Oh no! Interesting. Okay, so when I put it on, there's no gaps. So nice flowers, um, teardrop, marquee shape, some rhinestones. 
rhinestones. Oh, very nice uh, bracelet in excellent shape. And let's just take a quick look inside. I don't, I don't see any marking or manufacturers, but that's um, perfectly wearable. Very nice, very nice bracelet. And there's a little piece of something wrapped up in plastic, and I don't know if it's like that because it's broken or it's it looks like one of those um, illusion necklaces that tend to get tangled up so maybe somebody um, put it in saran in plastic wrap to keep it from getting all tangled I found an end oh I have found an end and here is the great reveal Lobster claw clasp, some really bent, <laughs> uh, not in such good shape, but there's some nice beads. This is metal, textured metal. Again, metal with textured, those are just little plastic. This is yeah, again, textured plastic, kind of a goldy yellow color. Um, but this uh, wire has become has been crimped and broken, and and it's not gonna ever return to its original shape. So the only way to save these beads, if it would be to repurpose them, most of the most of them are are plastic well the majority are plastic and then these ones with the silver tone on the edges are plastic and metal so they have a little more weight but the rest of them are just plastic not that there's anything wrong with plastic it's just that they're not glass so they it wouldn't be as worthwhile to uh, try to repair them so that's too bad that this is um, not rescuable as it is but I'm gonna wrap it up again so that it doesn't get wrecked up with all the uh, other stuff or tangled up with the other stuff and then just have a handful of little pieces here at the end one earring can I get it to focus there some nice rhinestones in that a pretty design Hard to tell if it's gold tone or silver tone. I think it's it's kind of goldy color on this side. Here's a single ear. Whoops. Here's a single earring. And here's a hoop. Well, maybe part of a flat ring set. I'm not sure. And a little a little bead, all on its own, all on its lonesome. So that's the end of the jewelry jar. Well, I'm telling you, when you get a Miriam Haskell necklace in a $5 jewelry jar, you can celebrate. I would do a dance if I could do a dance. <laughs> um, I would sing a song. I could have danced all night. I could have danced all night. Because I found a Miriam Haskell necklace. Anyway, I'm a little giddy. Uh, it doesn't happen very often, but uh, beautiful necklace. Some lovely pieces. This Avon uh, bracelet, uh, breast cancer awareness bracelet, is gorgeous. This butterfly uh, will be reused. These... <laughs> huge earrings these are that's such such a pair so and all these all the beads that I got so I'll be pairing up the beads and then coming back to you to uh, to show you what else uh, I found thanks very much Pat Hood from Passions of Pastimes and I hope you've had as much fun with this jewelry jar as I have bye for now